Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in part 5 of this part 6 series on challenging mole conversion problems involving density and shapes, we are going to take another look at spheres. So let's take a look at an example problem and see what's going on. In this example, it says an iridium sphere is made up of 3.45 times 10 to the 30th atoms. We need to calculate the radius of this sphere in centimeters, and then we need to round our answer to three significant figures. So if we read this question carefully, we have a sphere, and what we know about this sphere is that it's made of iridium. And so when we're given a problem like this, where we have some sort of shape and uh, uh, some dimensions, what I like to do is draw a little picture. So we have our sphere here. What we know about this sphere is it's made of iridium. And also what we know about this sphere is that it's made up of 3.45 times 10 to the 30th atoms of iridium. And so based on this information only, what we're asked to calculate, what we need to figure out here, is the radius of this sphere. If we know it's made of iridium and we know it's made up of this many atoms. So how can we do this problem? Well, let's think about this. We know that we have this many atoms of iridium. So if we know the number of atoms of iridium, we can use the mole conversion process to figure out the number of grams. So in our very first process or step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use mole conversion to determine the mass in grams of this iridium sphere. Once we're done doing that, in our second step, what we can do is we can use the density formula. Density equals mass divided by volume. And if we figure out the mass in step one and plug it in here, and if we look on a table of density values for iridium, we can Google this or look in a textbook or look at some sort of reference material that shows us the density of iridium, then what we can do is we can solve for the volume of this iridium sphere. We can figure out the volume of this iridium sphere. And once we figure out the volume of this iridium sphere, in our third and final step, what we can then do is take the volume of a sphere, keep in mind, that the volume of a sphere, which we learned in Algebra 1 or a geometry class, a volume of a sphere is going to equal 4 over 3, or 4 thirds, pi times r cubed. So if we figure out the volume here in step 2, we can then plug it into here and then figure out and solve for r. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's start with our very first step. Let's start some mole conversion. We are starting with 3.45 times 10 to the 30th atoms of iridium. And so what we need to do with this is we need to determine the mass in grams of this many atoms. So if we're starting with atoms, first thing we're going to have to do is convert to moles. So what we want to do is cancel out atoms of iridium. And so if we have atoms of iridium in the numerator and we put atoms of iridium in the denominator in our next fraction or equivalent statement, these guys will cancel out. So we're going to convert atoms to moles. So moles is going to go on the top of this fraction or equivalent statement. Once we're done doing this, we want to convert the moles to grams. So we're going to want to cancel out moles of iridium. So we'll put that at the bottom of this fraction. And we're going to want to convert to grams of iridium. So we're going to put that at the top of this fraction. So now we're missing two pieces of information here. First of all, right here, we know that one mole of iridium atoms or one mole of iridium contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, right? Mole means 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And now that step is gonna bring us here.
but we want to figure out how many grams this is. So we have to take it a step further. So what we have to do is figure out the relationship between grams of iridium and moles of iridium. And if we look on the periodic table that just popped up, we can see that the molar mass of iridium is 192.22. This means for every one mole of iridium, it's going to have a mass of 192.22 grams. So now let's take a look. We can see that atoms of iridium in the numerator and denominator are going to cancel. Moles of iridium in the numerator and denominator are going to cancel, leaving us with grams of iridium as our unit left over. So now we start at the left with the starting information or quantity. We work our way from left to right. If we come across a number other than one in the denominator, we're going to divide. If we come across a number other than one in the numerator, that means we're going to multiply. So we're going to take 3.45 times 10 to the 30th. We're going to divide this by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then we're going to multiply this by 192.22. And we're going to end up with 1.10 times 10 to the 9th. 1.10 times 10 to the 9th grams of iridium. So we just figured out the mass now. We know that the mass of this iridium sphere here is this many grams. So now what we have to do in step two is we have to use the density formula to figure out the volume of this sphere. So let's go ahead and do that. If we take a look here, we're going to have to isolate volume. We want to get volume all by itself on one side of the equal sign. So if we know that density equals mass divided by volume, what we can do here is multiply by volume on both sides to get rid of the fraction. Remember what you do to one side, you must do to the other. And so what we end up with is we end up with mass equaling volume times density, but we want to figure out the volume. So we need to divide both sides by density. Density ca cancels. And so now to get the volume, we are simply going to take the object's mass and we're going to divide it by the object's density. So what is the mass of this object? We just figured that out. It's 1.10 times 10 to the ninth grams. And what is the density of iridium? Well, if you take a look at the table that just popped up, you can see that the density of iridium is going to be 22.650 grams per cubic centimeter. So we can see that grams in the numerator and grams in the denominator are going to cancel here. And the unit that's going to be left over here is cubic centimeters, which is a measurement of volume. So now we get our calculator out. We'll take 1.10 times 10 to the 9th, and we're going to divide this by 22.650, which is the density of iridium. And we're going to end up with 4.86 times 10 to the 7th. 4.86 times 10 to the 7th cubic centimeters. But this is not our final answer. This is just the volume. So now that we figured out the volume, we can plug that into this formula right here and solve for R. So in our third and final step, that's what we're going to do. So we know, let's rewrite this formula here, that the volume of a sphere is going to be equal to 4 thirds pi times r cubed. And so what we can now do is manipulate this formula to isolate r and get it all by itself on one side of that equal sign. We can use our algebra one skills to do this. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this fraction. So we're gonna multiply both sides by three. If we multiply both sides by three, this now cancels. And wh what we're left with is three times the volume equaling pi times r cubed. So what can we do now? I'm sorry. We forgot the four here, right? Three times the volume is equal to four times pi times the radius cubed. So now we're trying to get r all by itself on one side of the equal sign. So we'll divide both sides by four pi. 
4 pi cancels on the right hand side and what we're left with is r cubed equaling 3b over 4 pi. So this is a long lengthy process here. Now we're not trying to solve for r cubed, we're trying to solve for r. So you guessed it, we need to take the cubed root of this side. And if we take the cubed root of the left side, we have to take the cubed root of the right side. And so the formula that we're going to use to solve this problem is going to be radius equaling the cubed root of 3v all over 4 pi. So now we can start plugging the values in. This is going to equal, let's take the cubed root here, the cubed root of 3 times our volume, which we figured out was up here, 4.86 times 10 to the seventh centimeters cubed, divided by 4 pi. And so when we put this all in our calculator, what we're going to end up with is 2.86 times 10 to the second centimeters. So what is the radius of this sphere of iridium going to be? If we know it's made up of this many atoms, it looks like the radius is going to end up being 2.26 times 10 to the second centimeters. How did we get that? Well, we took the cubed root of 3 times the volume divided by 4 pi. So if you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that's going to subscribe you to my channel. And feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys found this helpful.